time. I think we should take some time to discuss the direction of the business. I agree. You know, we're not as relevant as we would like to be. The family isn't the superpower that it once was, and I think it's high time we change that. The decisions we make at this table today will forever affect the Mafia, for years to come. We could be looking at a new golden age, like in The Godfather. So what do we do? Ah, uh, I, I don't really have anything. Shouldn't the ideas be more your thing? Martin, why do you think I had this meeting called? It's because you need to come up with some ideas. Do you think Tony Soprano came up with all the ideas? No, I, I, I guess not. Um, okay. So, what if we get a bunch of our guys together, and we go to every single business in town, and we go in and we say, hey, for a few bucks, we'll protect your business from any schmucks coming in and messing the place up. And if they don't take our offer, we'll just rough them up a little bit. Classic extortion. Extortion, Martin? This is 2016. Don't you pay attention. If something like that happened, the next thing you know, these people will be putting things about it on like, the Facebook or the Twitter. The next thing you know, they got it in for you. That's true. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, all right. I think we need to do something discreet, but heavy still. Like, maybe take over the drug trade. The entire drug trade? Yeah. Why not? There's a lot of drugs out well, there, Sonny. Like what? Like, I mean, there's Molly, there's bath salts, there's Coachella, there's crack ice, there's snowman, there's onomatopoeia. I never heard of these things. I'm thinking more in lines of, like, the classic stuff. Like cocaine. Coke, you know? Like in the Goodfellas. Do people still do coke? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, I haven't done it since the 80s. You did coke? I did coke, but it's horrible stuff. It, uh, the high is short, lived, uh, and then the next day your nose is burning. Oh, that just sounds it's horrible. Yeah, how would you ever do that? But people still do it, I think. Huh. I've never done it. You never done it? No. You never did coke? No, I can't afford it. Why not? I don't have money. You don't have money? You're a hitman. Don't you get a salary or something? A salary? Hitmen don't get salaries anymore. Mobs can't afford it. These days, hitmen have to work entirely on commission. So, what's wrong with commission? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's that no one wants to pay you to kill anybody anymore. Ever since the market crashed, people just do it themselves. That's why you get all these hack jobs who don't put any heart and soul into their work. Heart and soul? Yeah. When did you guys start thinking about heart and soul? Think about it, Sonny. You can only kill so many people before it starts getting to your head and you stop thinking clearly. So a guy like me, in order to avoid being a psycho, has to put pride into his work. You gotta make it into an art form. An art form? Yes, an art form. You can't just do these things all sloppily. You gotta, you gotta really think about it. It's a, it's a delicate process. Where you put the blood, how many times you're gonna break the bone. You gotta, you gotta just treat it like something you wanna share to the world. It has to mean something to you and to other people. So, what kind of other people are going to want to see how you murdered someone? I don't know. I just we'll talk about artistic theory another time, all right? Let's get back to the task at hand. I agree. So, did we decide on the drugs? I think we were still talking about coke. Okay. So, I think we should buy it in Colombia. Colombia? 
I thought the Mexicans were the big drug traders now. You want to deal with the cartels? Yeah, I read an article that says they're the biggest dealers in marijuana, meth, cocaine, and... I don't like the cartels. How can you not like the cartels? You've never met the cartels. I never met the cartels, but I saw a documentary on Netflix. And they showed these organizations to be very brutal. Very brutal. I don't want the mob to be involved with these kinds of people. What's that supposed to mean? It means that they decapitate people. They chop the people's heads off and display them. Sure, it's a little bit barbaric, but I mean, we've done similar things in the past. That was the past. In all the old, good mafia movies, when the violence gets bad, brothers start killing brothers. Friends start killing friends. Loyal soldiers become rats for the FBI. Is that what you want to see happen? Okay, I guess not. So maybe drug trade just isn't something we should focus on. Well, what else is there? What else can we get involved with? I, I don't know. Maybe we should just take a break. Okay? You can go off, sit in the sun a little bit, and then we come back, say around Easter, and we all talk about it with some fresh new perspectives. Sounds like a good idea. I could go to Fiji and sit on the beach for a while. Yeah, I can go home and spend time with my kids. Your kids? You got kids? Sonny, I've been married for like four years. Of course I have kids. I knew that, but I didn't think you were ready for kids. Why wouldn't I be ready? Because you're a hitman. Sonny, I told you. I'm trying to make this into an art form. I want to be able to share this, okay? I. It's, it's like, I want to create it into something artisan-like. I want it to be beautiful, okay? I, I want to share it on Instagram, and I want people to see it and go, Yeah, that's Martin. That's his style, okay? You murder people, Martin. You're not painting the Sistine Chapel. We're not going to talk about this with you anymore, Sonny. I, I, I got to go, okay? What happens when you... Cut somebody's head off and put it in a gallery. What will people think?